going to be explaining the problem with these two clutch from two different car, different manufacturer. Okay, here we have a 2007 7 Subaru Impreza, and this system we have a 2010 Kia Sorento system. Okay, so you can see it's a bit, it's all the same, but just the where the slave cylinder is. It's inside and with the release bearing is one component okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the problem that I had with it why I change it okay so this car the customer came and said that the pedal sticking to the floor okay so the first thing when I check it I think was the master cylinder it was no good we end up changing the master cylinder we still had the same problem and then in to further more diagnostic when we check we see that the fork was leaning on the one side it was on the transmission and when you press it the fork was going sideways instead it was it's supposed to go straight it was going like sideways so we didn't even know that this was broken in the transmission so the car you can start it in in gear with a little bit of clutch you have left and you can move it one place to the next because the clutch here is still about 90% or 80% finished but it was, the car could still move in you, you didn't smell any burning or anything like that but the problem was you couldn't get any clutch you couldn't put it in gear so I decided to open the transmission when I open the transmission the first thing I see is the, the fork is broken okay and on further investigation of the transmission you can see all the grease around the re release bearing okay you can see in the fork so we have maybe some oil inside the clutch system with maybe grabbing or maybe a part of the problem why this fork broke because I cannot understand why it snaps you know so probably it was grabbing or probably when you force it into gear and trying to move it if so maybe snap it and you can see the you can see the grabbing on the clutch but you don't see any damage on the pressure plate here the pressure plate on the disc you don't see any none of these springs are broken because sometimes on the disc here you see all these springs they're broken or they come apart okay so this is the disc okay this is your pressure plate here i don't see any damage basically to the pressure plate and only some oil and some you know slippery slipping over the clutch is slipping I can see a lot of dust and dirt by grabbing. So I can see this transmission like the engine had some oil maybe seeping into the into the transmission and cause maybe the clutch for grabbing and slipping because you don't want oil to get into here. Okay? Because you don't want oil to get into this surface, it could cause a lot of friction. Okay? And that could that could damage your your transmission. And this could cause you to see why you end up with a, a broken fork okay but it's grabbing you know and it's it's a lot of to hold back the torque from the engine and with the pressure you have to press and then what happened is snaps and then what happened your pedal stick on the floor because now your fork your fork what happened is move let's say it's move an inch okay when it's engaging and you can engage the gear when you mash the brake but now when this one broke it's, it's go back move further so what happened your slave cylinder cannot push all the way to push it all the way back because it's only supposed to push like maybe an inch inch and a half okay so now when this one broke you have more to push to to engage the gear so that's what happened it cannot go into gear and now your your slave cylinder cannot reach cannot reach here because it's now you get a longer push okay so that was the problem with this one I see the so I'm thinking that maybe the oil caused it to grab and or grease or maybe when they install the transmission maybe they put too much of grease in the transmission that you don't need to put a lot of grease in it okay okay so now this is the second system we have here this is the 2010 Kia Sorento standard okay so here we have the slave cylinder and your release bearing. They're all in one. 
Okay. Which one you have here? Okay. This is this system is different from this one eh? because this system it doesn't have a fork system. Okay. This system here you have a fork. So what this fork does is when the other piece is here, it's going to the release bearing. Okay. It's going behind the bearing like this. So when you push on your clutch, it moves to engage the pressure plate. So your, so your gears can go in reverse, drive, four second, third, fold gear into shift. That's what this one does. Okay. But this is the same principle. But what happened, this is a release bearing here and this is a release bearing here. See, it's the same thing. But they eliminate the fork. And this system they eliminate the slave cylinder because this one becomes the slave cylinder and it be have your release bearing so it's one piece so this one bolt in the transmission the three bolt the bolt is bolt in the transmission okay so and it's work now the fluid come direct so when you when you mash your your clutch to the master cylinders put the pressure and then you come to the slave cylinder and what happened this open up see this open up it close and it open up so that's what do the engaging of the gears okay so it's a totally different system from this but both system work perfectly okay and this system is good so it's just one piece you know and for example but the two different thing with this one I like the slave cylinder okay let's say for some I like the one that is external that they want to work with this so let's say for example you have a problem with this one because this is in between the engine and the transmission so if you have a leak with brake fluid leaking from this system just to fix this one you will have to remove your transmission just to fix this slip cylinder okay so it's a advantage and a disadvantage because with this system your safe cylinder is attached to the transmission or to the engine that which pushes this fork right so that one here you just have to disconnect the line and remove two bolts and replace it you don't have to go in the transmission that's a big advantage of this one but with this one here you let's say your clutch is still good but then you have a problem with your safe cylinder is leaking and it's leaking through the transmission you have no clutch you will have to go in the transmission to fix this problem which in this system you can do it right outside without going to the transmission okay so now the problem with this ksr rental here you have no power when you're driving okay because your clutch is worn your clutch is all is start to eat on the rivet so what it's doing you have your clutch is slipping so that's something you're looking for when you have a standard transmission and you drive and you feel you're losing power you don't if you're a good driver you didn't burn your clutch you're not gonna smell any clutch burn what you're gonna do your vehicle gonna lose power climbing hills and as time goes by you already you're gonna have warning sign that you know you have no power on your vehicle as long as you eliminate that your engine is perfect you're not losing power from your engine then you know if your clutch is going because when this clutch starts to slip you're losing power your, your car is just gonna rev out okay until finally it's not gonna move all right so that's what happened to this car here all right there was no power you could drive it but at 40 50 rpm and you can see and you can see the impression on this disc you can see how it's all how it's been grabbing and it's burning because the rivet now start to eat on the pressure plate okay so so that is the problem with diagnosing your um, your clutch on your your car you have a two problem with you have a person who's learning to drive standard then you might smell your clutch it's burning you could tell right away your clutch is finished with the bad odor that comes from the clutch and a second way that you can find that your clutch is born you can smell 
you can smell the odor that's one and the second way you're going to be losing power on your engine your car is not going to be dry or you're not going to get any way far with it and so basically it's very important when you install your clutch something that could cause your clutch to lose life or you could cause to damage your clutch i don't get the full life of your clutch is this is an alignment tool which align your clutch and your flywheel okay to your engine because here you have an output shaft the spin is going to come inside here because everything here turns okay so what happened this is the tool that comes with the with the kit so you align it you push it this through and you align it and then you tighten your bolt around it but a smart thing to do in that has happened to me already I had a hard time to put in back the transmission I put the tool in it's okay but what happened the disc is heavy so the tool does not keep the disc straight in place it's in place but you have because it's dropped a little bit maybe a centimeter because of the weight of the disc so what you have to do when you start to get when you get all the bolt in you go back and you put it straight and you just hold it there temporarily until you get a couple of your bolt tight and you want to tie them opposite so your clutch is going to be even tight and you don't want to tie just one side you want to tie them even because your pressure plate here is going to sink in because it's spring loaded okay so that's why you need to tie all your bolt even and before you start tightening and before your pressure plate start to grab you need to make sure that you take the extra effort to hold this with one hand in place make it straight and then you tight because if you don't do that it's gonna be half you know centimeter it's gonna drop a little bit and then what happened you're gonna be forcing your output shaft through there and you're gonna be tightened up and then what happened you're gonna have pressure on your 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 disc you don't want to have pressure on this disc right so that's what's gonna happen when you're gonna it's gonna snap sooner or later something is gonna give out depends on the driver or depends on the quality of the the disc you buy okay something gonna give out because the best way to take the extra effort to hold this up in a straight position and then you tight because you don't want to just push it in there and, and just tighten and think it's okay it's not okay because it's gonna drop a little bit and it's and when this is lined up perfectly you have no problem to put in a transmission you just to put the transmission and slip right into place to the engine and you just have to bolt it up but anytime you put in transmission and you have to like force it and push it you know that your disc is off a little bit you're not supposed to have any kind of pressure or any kind of force to put back the engine in put back the transmission okay so subscribe to my channel and like and if there's any question you know where to find me, you can ask a question and I can answer you.